but I'm going to change, I'm going to switch to a subcomplex for the max. This and that bar is just going to be all the morphisms. So this was a morphism between this tensor um, co-algebra, so this is a linear map, I guess I should say. Whose restriction to Similar to how I defined the, these subcomplexes for the co derivations. That's it, that's the only change. What, why I do that is for this following fact. So this again, the, given the double shot. So the Maracatana elements of this twisted sub L infinity algebra are again going to be triples at this point. Where this QA is going to be an infinity structure on A, the four. QB will be an A infinity structure on B. And phi will be an A infinity limit of little phi. such that, well, when I look at its linear piece, so restrict to A and project to B, it'll be the original chain map. Okay. The second statement that we're almost at our proof of the homotopy transform here. The second statement uh, from this from this paper of theirs that's important is that the so the projection of this L infinity algebra to the DGLA that corresponds to co-derivations on B, well that's a strict that's a strict L infinity morphism. So I'll call that that progeny that goes from this guy. to co-derivations is a shifted filtered alternative morphism. And if phi, our original chain map here that we've been twisting with, if that's a quasi isomorphism, phi is a quasi isomorphism, then proj B is a weak equivalent. Obviously surjective. It's just a, it's just a strict it's a strict infinity map that comes just from the projection of complexes. So 
that morphism is not just a weak equivalence, but it's also a vibration. Back to our mouth for time functor, what that means is the induced map between time complexes is a asymptotic vibration. So let me call this y. Let me call this cons complex x, just so I don't have to write this much. So let me now use this corollary to prove the homotopy transfer. So the input this time was, so we're given a quasi set of complexes from A to B, the B is carrying, say, an A to the next Corollary over there <coughs> gives us the following. So we have x, uh, y, and let's say uh, n c y b. Okay. This a infinity structure on b will give me. Vertex in, in one, because that's what the non Cartan elements of the co-derivation of this uh, co-derivation of PGLA, those are A infinity structures on B. So this gives me a, a map here. Well, this is an acyclic vibration. So I'll just take the pullback, the fiber over this. Space S from the beginning. An asymmetric vibration between con complexes is a surjection on vertices of, of to dimension zero, so this is not NP. And it's contractible because. to say is some sort of uniqueness. Right, so the uniqueness statement is this right here. And so this is saying, so if S, so S is a con complex, so if it was, for example, the nerve of a fluid void or something like that, so pi zero being trivial would say 
that every object is isomorphic to every other object, pi 1 being 0 would say that there are no, that that isomorphism means that there's no automorphisms. And so this is saying that the transfer structure on A is unique up to isomorphism, and that isomorphism is unique up to a homotopy, which is unique up to a two homotopy. Any other comments or questions? Well, let's go back to your, uh, where DB is acting on family of Fs. Uh -huh. yeah. Why didn't you just choose a single element mapping um, the tensor coalgebra to of A to B? Um, so why wasn't that like a two area operation? Um, like. Yeah, bracket, B, B, F. Yeah. Why not that? Yeah. Because these Fs are, uh, these Fs are, are maps from, um, oops, geez, yep. from this guy into, right, into this guy. And so this isn't, that, that formula builds in um, how you extend a linear map like this to a, a map of the corresponding co-algebras. The explicit formula for taking this mm -hmm. to that mm -hmm. involves, oh, I see, oh, I, I see what you're saying. So, so same formula, but just have repeats of f. Is right. that what you're saying? Um, no, not repeats of f. Restrict it to the n-fold tensor, k-fold tensor product. Does that make sense? Here. It doesn't. Something like this. Yeah. It doesn't because this outputs into here. And it would only see the linear, it would only see the uh, the first part of this differential. Ah. Yeah. Okay. But with the F repeated, it may make sense. With the F repeated, it may make sense. Um, it wouldn't give you the right degree. To allow this, yeah, this would have to be. I would have some arbitrary number of f's over here, but I would only have one copy over here. I don't think that would give me a degree one. But in terms of your formula, the db out front of a k tuple really meant apply it in the usual derivation formula. Well, db can db can eat something that has an arbitrary word length, so it's just it's. Yeah, it's the usual code error. I mean, it, it's, oh. it's the usual formula, but but uh, yeah, it's it's, it's just not db db db. No, 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 no. no, no. Right. Okay. It's yeah, a linear, so it's a linear extension. Yeah, yeah. All, yeah. all built into the brackets are all of these basic theorems about how you take maps that look like this and extend them either to co-op to co derivations or maps between co -ops. It may be possible to sort of write it in such a way that there's something that you do to f that would. Uh, I mean, an alternative way of uh, writing the formula. Yeah. Uh, maybe. Um, and this this is set up to give me exactly the amount of Cartron elements yes. I want. So there could be another bracket. I'm not saying there isn't. Um, the one where you just take f and repeat it a whole bunch, I don't think it's going to give you the right degree map because there's too many f's on this. <laughs> I have to count for those Fs on this side to make this a degree one operation. Good. Any other comments, questions? Well, let's thank the speaker nice. again. Thank you. And remind you, two weeks from today, Ivan Horitzov will talk about parallel transport using iterated integrals. And later that same afternoon, it's the first round of that lecture. <laughs>